Hundreds of jobs are set to go at the oil service company Wood Group. It describes it as streamlining in response to challenges in the oil and gas sector. Well, let's get more now from our reporter John McManus, who joins us from Aberdeen Harbour. John. Yes, the Wood Group employs more than 6,000 people on shore in the UK, but tonight it says 300 of those are going to lose their jobs after a company consultation. Now, that might not sound so surprising in the current climate, but the Wood Group has been talking about its successes recently. It said last week that it has secured a new contract in Azerbaijan worth $500 million, and the week before it said it had new work in the North Sea worth another $100 million. But nevertheless, the company says that it needs to look to the future of the oil industry and what the landscape will be like and how it will fit into that. And therefore, it has to streamline. And these job losses are part of that streamlining, unfortunately. The culprit, of course, is the continuing low price of oil. This time two years ago, a barrel of oil was worth $110. Today, it's worth $45. And that's after the price has rallied slightly. The, the, uh, the organization which looks after uh, countries which produce most of the world's oil, OPEC, has tried to come together to agree to reduce the output of oil around the world so that the price might rise. They've been unable to do that, and so it looks like this squeeze might continue for some time to come. And one other piece of news this evening concerning the offshore industry, the European Aviation Safety Agency has ordered checks on the Super Puma EC-225. That's the model of helicopter that was involved in the crash in Norway on Friday. It says the gearboxes of all those Super Pumas must be checked. 13 people, of course. Most of them offshore workers died in that crash, including Ian Stewart from Aberdeenshire. Thank you very much for that, John.